Welcome back, you guys. Fredos it is. It's like suddenly a character selection. <laughs> I don't know what Ready it is. when you are, Father. Something about this just makes it all awkward altogether. But let us head out. Right behind you. I'll meet you at the gateway presently, friends. Yeah, I almost forgot my mirror. Well, I'm gonna miss Atreus, but nothing better than Kratos himself, right? Kind of. <laughs> Not until he's really OP. Excuse me, sir. Mind if I take a little peek at you? I promise I'll be brief. What the hell? A squirrel? My goodness, what a strapping physique. Capable of an astounding variety of acts of violence, I imagine. What is happening? Uh, this must be the squirrel that tends the world tree. That delectable aroma. Could it be? Pardon the intrusion. <laughs> ah, yes. Amber resin. Delightfully nutty with a hint of squidding. <laughs> no. Not one for gastronomic expiration, I see. Wait, if you're Radit Hosker, why are you so different when we summon you for help? It's a long story. <laughs> but you are correct. I am indeed Radit Hosker. The one you know as Radit Hosker is merely one of my spectral aspects. And a particularly nasty one at that. I consider him so far removed from myself that he's practically a different person. Speaking of... Bitter? Would you like to come out and see your friends? Park off, I'm busy! I suppose that was to be expected. Anyway, <clears throat> now that I've polished off all this resin for you, would you like the seed back? It is the seed. Indeed. A seed of Yggdrasil, to be precise. <clears throat> Since my dwarven tenants performed their little reconfiguration, You'll need seeds like these to open up new destinations on my tree. <laughs> Your tree, huh? Yes, my tree. <laughs> Here, let me show you. I know, I know. We're all confused, Kratos. <laughs> what is going on? So that's why good Master Brock needed an Alfheim seed. Clearly, you have important matters afoot. Realms of possibility. Paths split like branches of that. Alfheim. 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 Awaits with a long and difficult journey. The training grounds of Niflheim hold secret rewards. Fafafa may hold unfinished business. Choose. Carefully. Ah. So, what does that mean? Once we commit to one that of these seed worlds, you found unlocks Niflheim of all places, a realm as ancient as it is vaguely sticky. Alrighty. Svartalfheim remains at your disposal if you have unresolved business amongst the dwarves. But. I don't have a need to go here. Like, the only thing I would go there for is because I have the tool, which we still haven't gotten. So it's either we go to this place or this place. Now, here's my question. Okay, so either one will give me a new seed. So no matter where I go, we have to unlock a seed to unlock another realm. Ah, oh, that is very interesting. So this is... I'm assuming this is the main quest because... I've been looking. I, I don't know if that's a paw. I keep thinking that's like a bear paw. That little symbol where it says travel to Alfheim. And I'm assuming this might be like a side quest. The Eyes of Odin. Let's go check this one out. Why not? The Raven Tree. The Path of the Mist. Rad, Rata Tosca. Ah, man. I, I hate these names. I can't pronounce them. <laughs> Realm C leads to the... That training area. Oh, arena. My bad. Travel here for a place to practice and improve. Okay, so this is not a side quest? Wait, eh, ah, mm. 
Let's go check it out. If we're not going to Alfheim yet, it's probably best for Tyr to wait for us here. The soldiers we fought in Svartalfheim, those were Enriar? I thought Enriar were just spirits in Valhalla until Ragnarok comes. They were no spirits. Indeed, brother. Odin appears to have found a loophole. Activated his forces early as a standing army. Perhaps something he could only do without any honest Valkyries around to stand in his way. Righty, here we are. A raven tree. Do we have to be here? Creeping me out, all these poor bastards with their souls cut up. Wow, it seems useful. Indeed. Uh, Brock, what do you think about fate? I don't. Either your life's all written down somewhere or it ain't. Still feels like you're making choices either way. The shit smells the same regardless of how it got shaft. Remind me to write that down. Damn, he's got a point. <laughs> all right, I don't want to be. Oh, man, I don't want to deal with all of this to be honest. So, might skip ahead, but we'll see. Depends how long it take. Okay, no upgrades available. Blades of chaos. No upgrades available either. Nope, nothing. Check out the armor. Nope. Oh, I could actually upgrade this one. Let's go. Damn, am I good or what? Right on, Brock. All right, so that's one level. Now I could upgrade this one, but what about my waist? Uh, three and then five, I will be left with one. And then I would need nine, I mean five. Okay, so either way, I'm stuck with one. You won't get so much as a paper cut in that. Okay, we could technically do one more. So eight and two. Two and eight. Oh man. All right, I think I'll do strength. So final upgrade. Nice. You won't get so much as a paper cut in that. And that's all the upgrades we could do for our armor. Special items, we don't need anything. It's nice. And the kid? You know, I forgot about this ability, the Sonic Aftershock. Wow. Well, at least we could upgrade this. We have a lot of the beast scraps. Beast bone? I don't even know what that is, but we only have one. We would need four more. Oh, actually five. No, 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 yeah, yeah. Five in total, but we have one. Yeah, so we need four more. What are you looking for? Anything to sell? Wait, I could actually sell the armor pieces that I don't use? Ah, oh, well, I'm not gonna do that. I'd be kind of dumb. And that's pretty much it. All right, never mind. We didn't take as long as I thought we would. Um, but where do we go from here? Um, I'm a little afraid that enemies might spawn here or a big honcho, you know? Uh, roam around. It's kind of nice though. A little frosty, I'd say. There's something over here. Yeah. Ah, a memory of war. You could use this as a training arena if you like. You'll just be fighting the recollections of enemies. They won't be able to harm you. What I have a feeling this is like a challenge. <laughs> Maybe even a trophy. Or a time trial. <laughs> Dragger Training. This, the Sparring Arena allows you to test and own your skills in combat. In the arena, you will have infinite health and accelerated cooldowns. No, there's no XP or hacks over gain in the arena. Room Training. So what's the point of this? Uh, let's try it out. Why not? There's nothing. I mean, it's possible that this is only for like combos. <laughs> Oh, 
gonna save me. I'm about to get hit. Oh, I dodged it. Oh. Pop. How do I break his shield? Oh my god, they got two hits on me. That is such a yes. Ah, oh, come on, I thought it would have been faster than that. So that's pretty cool, because now with Trace's arrows actually uh, do more staggering damage. Uh -uh. Mamir, you gotta be faster than that. R1 never works for me. Did I not buy that ability? I feel like I did. Maybe I thought I bought it and I don't even have it. That's also another possibility. Oh, when does this end? Oh, thank you, Mir. Perfect. First time I land that hit. Last one. Whoops. I had a good combo going on and I lost it. Oh, hold on. Hold on. So, wait, wait, wait. I think I got it. So, to pull him, to me, I have to tap it. Oh, never mind. That's fine. I don't got it. Oh, come on. Like, like, I know I need to block more, but that's what I was doing. I forget. Thanks, Mimir. This is actually a good way to get the call outs ready. How do I break that? Freaking shield, man. It's so annoying. Are these endless breaks? When do I stop? Okay, so I have to block that. Oh. Wait, I could still max out my ability. Oh, it's not even that. So this is going to be an episode just full of training, you guys. <laughs> I don't know when it's going to end. Have it even ends to begin with? Oh, come on. Oh, I got him. Oh, thanks. Good call out. Come on. Hate you, shield guys. What's the secret to like taking them down? You know, because they keep blocking my paint throws and everything like that. Oh! See, he blocked that. Impressive. 
Oh. oh no, you don't. Come on. Let me grab him. Nice. Charge it. Oh, that was beautiful. I think the. Got it, got it. Wait, does this ever end? Seriously? <laughs> it's taking a little too long. Am I supposed to like pause it to end this fight or what? Because I can keep fighting forever, but my friends are getting tired. Alrighty, alrighty, hold on, let me go do this. Maybe this is the only way to stop it. Oh. Alright, that's good. I don't know if I'm down for grim training. That just seems like it's gonna be harder. <laughs> my fingers are tired. Pressing L1 and R2? Damn, my index finger is gonna give out on me. <laughs> Alright, I say we call it a day, because that was good, but it's never ending. That's the best way for me to actually come here and own my skills for the combos. Well, well, if it ain't Wait, Kratos and his those unplugged chicken. Odin's ravens? The ones we've been destroying all this time? So it would seem. Damn. Why is there so many here? Is this where I get all of them so I can get my trophy? Free are we. Free of the Father. Our half-wise males belong to no other. What do you think that means? I don't know. But there's definitely something more going on here. Ooh, look at all these chests. Can I open them up? Ah, oh, what? What about this one? 5 out of 12? Ah, oh, come on. So I can't even open one? Haven't killed that many? Ah, oh, so I need to destroy all 48 to unlock every single chest. Or I could... Wait, can I... No. So uh, if I would have had one more, I could have opened this chest. God damn it. And I know where there's one. That's the one we missed out on. Um, where's the Dwarfen land? I forgot what it is. I know there was one flying where I was amazed by it. I was like, what kind of bird is that? Little did I know those were actually Odin's eyes. So, okay. So we come here for two things, for training and for chest. Aside from that, there's no purpose here. Got anything for us, bro? Got it. Did I waste my time? Probably. Did I waste you guys' this time? Probably. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna head back and I'm probably gonna call it here. Sorry, it's not what I expected either. But it happens. Okay, how do we go back actually? Oh, wait. So we gotta go back, okay. Crucible. Alright. Back to the house it is. Namir, I know this sounds weird, but can you tell me again what happens when someone dies? Every living thing has a soul, and every soul has four parts. Form, mind, direction, and luck. Direction steers the souls of giants, dwarves, elves, and animals toward the Lake of Souls in Alfheim, where all the parts may be absorbed back into Alfheim's great light. So that's where Fenrir is? The Lake of Souls? So long as his soul still has its direction, aye, it's well on its way. There you are. I knew you hadn't forgotten me. Righty. Master Kratos, I would speak with you. Well, I guess. Let's talk to the squirrel, see what he wants. Here. Do you know Ratatoskr? Of course. We were just catching up in your absence. Of the squirrels I've conversed with, he's easily the most dapper. Speak. 
If you are ever in need of my services and I am not present, I have installed these handy chimes for you to notify me. Simply throw your axe and strike the chimes and I will attend to your needs. Would you care to take a practice throw? Sure, why not? A magnificent throw, Master Kratos. Truly a seasoned pro. Very well. You know how to reach me now. All that said, I'm happy to discuss anything else on your mind. Hmm. A chess? I have a question. Splendid! I delight in offering my tutelage to the Inquisitive. Over the ledge, by the gateway over there. I noticed these dragons. Dragons? Oh no, young Master Atreus. Those are leaned worms, the brood of Neithog. Neithog? That's the mother? Correct. She's also a vital piece of the Yggdrasilian circle of life, as it were. I tend the branches up here, while Neithog chews the roots from below to prevent overgrowth. A delicate balance. So they're friendly? Well, they're not nearly so affable as myself, but there's no reason to expect hostility so long as they're left in peace. Neithog is a stern matriarch, as protective of her offspring as she is determined to teach them proper discipline. That sounds... Familiar. Hmm. Well, stay safe, everyone. So yeah, um, some parts are going to be a hit or miss. Obviously, this was more of a miss. You know, it wasn't bad. It's just they had the most action-packed stuff going on, but yet it was the least impactful because we only got a lot of action from the training or arena. And then we got the chest that apparently we kind of unlocked. But at least we learned something new every time, you know? So there's that, right? Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this. Subscribe if you haven't. We're ready to go to Alfheim when you are, Father. Unless you wanted to finish something in Svartalfheim first. And as always, take care, and I'll catch you guys on the next episode.